Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the fact that Sony is trying to go and sell some consoles for up to $1,700. You guys heard that correctly, not from a scalper, not from like a retailer gone wrong. Literally, Sony themselves is trying to go and sell some of these consoles for $1,000 plus to various different other places. It's kind of insane, kind of weird, a lot of cool information, at least in my opinion, from someone who covers all these restocks going on. So we have a lot of fun stuff to kind of go and talk about. I mean, fun is relative because, I mean, I would never want to be paying over $1,500 from an official PS5 licensed reseller, but that's just not me. But if any of you guys are brand new, welcome to the actual channel itself. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on if you guys would like or just be subscribed for the ps5 giveaway going on too as well if you guys want to enter it in with that we have the twitter and twitch stream a link down below the amazon links with the disc and digital if you guys want to go and check for cancellations or whatever it is if you guys want to leave a like if you guys enjoy these types of videos comment down below your thoughts of course as well and of course the weeble sign up for weeble deposit 100 you guys go get free stock and free money and coinbase if you guys go buy 100 worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free bitcoin always link down below and now on to the video so as I mentioned, I am not going crazy, and I think maybe Sony is. We actually have multiple different other confirmations. They have kind of like the prices of what the consoles are around the entire world, and also what these next future launches are going to look like for certain regions and how much they're going to cost. So we actually have a little bit of an update over here. This is for the PlayStation, um, basically for Egypt, for the Egyptian region. We kind of covered this news a few days ago that they actually have a brand new area of restocking, and they have now officially renounced or announced the actual prices now for these consoles, the PlayStation 5 disc and digital. And to go and say the least, this is insanity in terms of their pricing. So as of right now, they want to try to sell for the local currency, which is at 15999 which equates on over to around $1,000, 1000 US dollars for their console. Now, of course, they also have a slightly cheaper price too as well, you know, for the digital version. But you guys can also see all the accessories they're also trying to go and sell as well, which are also on a very, very high price. As you guys know, the Egyptian PS5 should be coming out in the near future. Uh, I believe the date is April 8th. You guys can see that over here too as well. So basically, they have the drop coming out in a few weeks which does actually somewhat affect all of us in these other regions because out of every single time there's another region out there that is trying their best to actually go get consoles and basically kind of sometimes take stock away from us because Sony has actually produced them in the first place. But more so, I want to talk about the fact that these prices are such highway robberies. As well, before we kind of count doing a ramble on that, I think you guys would be more so kind of curious because I was myself on the overall price points of some overall places in the entire world. So if you guys did not know, uh, you know, some areas have weird tariffs. Some places have just really weird import taxes or some places economies are just that bad where it's just as hard to get these consoles. So some places like in Uruguay and Argentina literally have consoles from official retailers themselves, like the actual street price upwards up to $1,700. You guys thought the Egyptian one we just went and talked about right there was bad at like around a thousand, $1,700. And this, like I said, is not from like, this is like Sony basically setting up the prices with the local actual economy too as well. So this is basically the price point that people have to buy directly from a major retailer. So this is like us going to Best Buy, Target, Walmart, whatever, and basically buying the console for $1,000 cash. Like that's how crazy it is. So this is like more so kind of based on the fact that some of these countries have very high import taxes. So basically, if you want to be moving over some of these consoles, it just costs a lot of money. And then number two, sometimes the local economy also has tariffs as well. So basically, it's kind of how we have things with like China, where basically we don't really want to do that much business with them. But if you want to do business, you got to be paying extra money for it. And Sony, of course, is kind of tied in with that because things like the PS5s and consoles, Xboxes are not necessarily the most, you know, needed things in the world. So I actually did a little bit more research too as well because I was a little bit kind of curious. But I was looking at some of the price points for some of these things, such as the actual Indian rupee, because it cost uh, 49,000 Indian rupees to actually go buy your console. So that kind of comes out to, let's go and say, around $700 in the United States dollars, and a little bit less, too, as well, around $600 or so, if you guys want to get the digital version, when it comes to the actual console release in India. And we know India just had their first, very first waves of getting consoles as well, as they also, they're slowly working towards getting their next restock waves. But sadly, if you guys are watching our videos yesterday, if not, go check that out. India actually had a really big ship wreck that happened, with, which we lost a lot of PlayStation 5 consoles. But it's insane how some of these places are even like $200 plus over the actual United States price. Also, look at some other things too as well. 
we actually fun enough to actually see something slightly a little bit cheaper or even something like the Japanese PS5 is actually fun enough a little bit on the cheaper side. It's around $477 or for the digital $382. So very, very slightly cheaper. But of course, as you guys know, with currencies, sometimes they're worth a little bit more, sometimes worth a little less, depending on like what's going on with the economy, stimulus, etc. like that. So that's kind of a big thing to be on the note for is that some places are actually funny enough cheaper than us in America. Kind of crazy. And even some things like such up in the UK, where basically you guys can go and buy a console for 350 pounds, and that actually only equates out to only to 479.52 United States dollars. So funny enough, there actually are some regions out there that you guys actually can go and buy and get the consoles for a little bit cheaper, such as like Japan and the UK. But there's also quite a few other places out there, such as Egypt, India, etc., uh, that we just mentioned, like Argentina, that you have to basically pay a lot of money. So I also wrote down a few other places from people kind of talking about this and discussing this up on the social medias. So apparently for some of these places, such as Brazil, which is their street price is around maybe the $1,000 mark or so as well, for the PlayStation 5, funny enough, the Xbox Series X actually cost more in places like Brazil, I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe, maybe because the Game Pass is maybe slightly more uh, sought after because it's cheaper to get games. You don't have to pay the $70 for a proper game. Uh, I can maybe see that because you have access to more games in general. But the Xbox Series X is actually worth another more money. Maybe just more so people are playing Xbox, so the demand there is higher versus, say, us in America. But that's, isn't that crazy to know that people are sometimes paying, paying a $1.2,000 still to this day? for all these consoles it's insane and even some other major places such as like turkey i think their average price is around 950 dollars for the ps5 as of right now some of the european countries you know such as germany italy etc are also on somewhat of a higher premium as well and then most of these are more so from pure retail so these are not even discussing scalping prices for some places depends on you know how the stock is but a lot of these places are more so these are like proper normal stores as i mentioned like amazon best buy walmart whatever these are not just scalpers so imagine how high some of these prices might be if the normal street price is like $1,500 still from buying from Walmart. Then imagine how high the scalpers would be too as well for anyone who is lucky enough to actually go get a console in the first place. So it's kind of crazy in how these consoles are all around and the fact that Sony's trying to go and sell consoles officially for over $1,500. Like... I can't believe that. And as I kind of touched on this a little bit, because of like kind of the reason why they have to sell them for so high is some of these places just have really bad economies. So basically, like, the economy is just really, really hard to actually go and afford this stuff. And some of these local countries have really bad tariffs, as I mentioned. So basically, Sony or whoever buys the consoles has to pay maybe even up to like 30%, 40%, and they basically have to make profit on it somehow. So if you're basically losing money on $500, you maybe have to sell for $750 if you also have to pay like a 40% like tax on that. But as well, there's also some issues that some places, just the economies are so bad, it's almost not worth it for Sony to move stock over. So at that point, it's more so just people that are rich and just basically could actually go and you know, get the consoles. There's actually been a lot of rumors as well going on on the previous PS4 drops that a lot of people out there basically would go and buy plane tickets to places like the United States where you guys can walk in and get a console, which we can't do right now, but let's say for like the PS4, or PS3, and literally they'd be able to go buy the console, buy the plane ticket, and come back to their country and literally be able to go and save money overall from either them getting it from a family member and shipping it out or just getting it from their local economy which is insane to think about like i jelly i i'm jelly surprised at the fact that it's even a thing but just in case you guys are curious, I thought this was kind of like little fun things to kind of go and show you guys on the fact that Sony is trying to sell consoles for that much money. I think that's ridiculous. I genuinely, truly do. Like what on, like that's, it's, it's insane. So maybe before we go and get so sad about like, you know, lack of restocks at times or just overall maybe even like scalper prices, at least we don't have to be paying $1,700 to go get a console just from Walmart. So at least we can look on the bright side for that. But I thought this was a little bit of a fun video to get to go and show you guys and talk about for. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it or liked it it is a little bit crazy and i kind of hope that they can also tone down the stock pricing and also build more stock for everyone as well so we don't have to keep on competing for this or have to deal with scalpers and hopefully all the prices for other regions can also go down to as well but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if any of you guys are brand new feel free to subscribe with the notifications on for restock news we'll play a lot of that all throughout the
today for rumors and all that stuff. Always have the Amazon links down below for the disc in digitals. If you guys want to check for cancellations or whatever for that. Always have the Twitter and Twitch stream a link down below if you guys want to follow the Weeble. Sign up for Weeble and deposit $100. You guys go get free stock and free money and Coinbase. If you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency, you guys go and get free Bitcoin. Always link down below. Thank you guys all so much for liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. Love to hear your thoughts all down below in general. Hope you guys have a good rest of your days, a good rest of your nights, and we'll have a lot more restock news all throughout the channel throughout today. So be on the lookout for that. And if you guys have got any consoles throughout this week, make sure you guys leave a comment down below and let us know if you guys did or did not go and get them. I love you guys all so much. Have a good rest of your days, good rest of your nights, and I'll see you guys up later on. And leave a comment down below telling me if you guys would ever go pay $1,700 for a PS5. I love you guys all so much. I'll see you guys all later.